What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. We have two potential area of interests, including Invest 91E. They are developing off the coast of west of southern Mexico right here. We're going to go ahead and show you what we're looking at right here. Here's what we got. We have two very high chances of development in the next seven days. Here's the first one, which is Invest 91E. 90% chance of development in the next seven days, 40% in the next 48 hours. Showers and thunderstorms have become a little more concentrated along a surface trough of low pressure located several hundred miles south of southwestern coast of Mexico. Environmental conditions appear generally favorable for development of the system, and a tropical depression is likely to develop in the middle part of this week. So that's what we got right here. This is going to be moving parallel to the uh, to the Mexican coast right here. And then we have this area of interest right here, which is in southern Mexico, just south of southern Mexico and Central America, a broad area of low pressure located a few hundred miles south of the coasts of Guatemala and El Salvador is associated with an area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Some gradual development of the system is possible during the next several days. Tropical depression is likely to develop in, in the middle to later part of this week. So this is going to be right here moving um, parallel to the Mexican coast right there and could cause some potential impacts, but we'll have to wait and see when it comes to that front. So here's the current we, late, latest we have on 91E. Maximum winds of 20 knots or 23 miles per hour. The location is 13.0 .3, degrees north, 99.6 degrees west. Minimum central pressure is 1,008 millibars, and the radius of maximum winds go out 100 miles. Now we're going to go ahead and look at some of some of the stuff that I've been looking at right here. We're looking at global sea temperatures, especially in the Eastern Pacific. We're looking at global sea temperatures over 30 degrees Celsius, which is about 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is absolute fuel for tropical systems in the Eastern Pacific right here. And if we take a look at the wind shear over here, the wind shear is actually quite favorable for development at this time. There is a little bit of shear to the south of it, but it should not impact it to a scale where it's not going to stop its development or anything like that. So that's what we have right here. And we also have the latest for, uh, for the shear run and the moisture runs as well. Because speaking of moisture, we actually have quite a lot of moisture that these systems can work off of. The first system is right over here where my cursor is, and the second system is about right here. And if we go ahead and zoom in for the next 90 uh, hours or so, which is about four days or so, a little less than that, we're still seeing ample moisture for this to develop. We do have a little bit of dry air starting to intrude over here, but we'll have to wait and see when it comes to that. The second system over here has plenty of moist air, plenty of warm water, plenty of weak wind shear for this thing to grow, breed, and develop right here. So this is absolutely something we need to keep an eye on over the next little while. We're going to go ahead and also show the shear forecast for the next four days for development right here and we're going to go ahead and take a look at this right here the shear development that we're seeing right here there's not very much shear going on with this system or over here for that matter we're looking at like maybe like 20 25 knots a shear uh, at, at most and most of it's to the south of it so i don't see that necessarily being that big of a problem going into this so that's what we got going on right there and if we go ahead and take a look at some of the runs, we don't have track models left on 91E, but we do start to have our first intensity models, and we are expecting a potential hurricane. Three of the four models are calling for hurricane development. The DSHP is calling for Category 2 strength. So that's definitely something we need to continue to pay attention to right here, and we'll continue to update you here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and end this video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.